This forecast was prepared by the Planet X Town Hall Comet LNN Research Team. The goal of this program is to alert viewers to the possibility of catastrophic events that may occur during the passage of Comet C 2010X1 LNN through the core of our system during the fall of 2011. Hello, I'm Marshall Masters, host of Your Own World Radio and the publisher of Your Own World USA. In the last few months, there's been a lot of interest in Comet Elenin, and according to Google, there are nearly 1.5 million pages on the topic. Many of them are filled with fear and concern. So, is this fear justified? The forecast presented in this program is the result of hundreds of man hours invested by the Planet X Town Hall Comet Elenin research team. It is being made because the hard data now paints a real possibility that Comet Elenin could be the dreaded Blue Star Kachina of Hopi prophecy. In this program, we're going to present a summary of our findings. Our hope is that you will use this information to evaluate your own preparation and planning to see if there's something you need to be doing. When it comes to survival, the most important thing you must remember is that the only truth that matters is the truth that resonates within you. And the only way that happens is when you and you alone put it there. How do you know when you've accomplished that? Well, within yourself you will find the strength to stand alone in your knowing, if need be. In part one of this program, we'll introduce the Hopi Blue Star Prophecy from a secular, science-based perspective. In part two, we'll use other famous comets from the past to help explain the possible dangers we now face in our near future. In part three, we'll present our forecast for Comet Elenin for the period from September 1, 2011 to January 16, 2012. In part four, you'll learn about some simple and affordable things you can begin doing today. Our philosophy is that while we cannot do all the big things we want, we can do the little things that matter, and enough of them can make a big difference in your own personal survival. However, before we begin part one, we need to briefly look at the disinformation being injected into this and similar topics by well-funded and highly organized groups of disinformation operatives. The goal of this disinformation is simple those most likely to die in a cataclysm are the ones who do not see it coming. Later on in this program, you will learn exactly why the elites are so intent on population reduction through a global cataclysm. In the meantime, suffice it to say that this topic is so muddied that it becomes nearly impossible for many to draw a clear conclusion, especially one that leads to taking action. However, while the public has always been generally aware of this manipulation, there has been an awakening event. This happened when a group of talented computer hackers who simply call themselves Anonymous took on the elites of the world in defense of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. Since 1999, when I first began writing on space threats and earth changes, there's always been one constant disinformation. And the disinformation that I see being injected into the topic of Comet Elenin is very well organized and apparently well funded. So what is it the disinformationalists are saying? The first thing our research team saw after the discovery of this comet by Russian astronomer Leonid Elenin on December 10, 2012 was a sudden burst of disinformation theories, which in turn spawned subsequent levels of innocent misinformation by members of the public. These disinformation theories include, Elenin is Planet X. Elenin is a brown dwarf star. Elenin is a black hole. Elenin is an alien mothership. We immediately suspected these disinformation ploys but as independent researchers, we knew that we had to run them to ground. And what we found was that in every instance, we could not vet these disinformation theories to a reliable or honest source. 
Therefore, our findings are that none of these are true. A good example is the hard data used to debunk the disinformation ploys that common elenin is Planet X or a brown dwarf star. Intrigued by the claims that Comet Elenin could be a brown dwarf star or a large planet, amateur astronomers showed some really good initiative. Uh, what they did was they used cataloged asteroids and tracked them before and after flybys past Elenin. What they found was Elenin did not have the mass necessary to disturb the orbits of these known asteroids. So in other words, Comet Elenin is just that, a comet. That being said, there was one interesting bit of what could now be viewed as misinformation from none other than NASA. In May of this year, Don Yeomans of NASA's Near-Earth Object Program at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena said, This is what happens when these long-period comets come in from way outside our planetary system. They make these long, majestic, speedy arcs through our solar system, and sometimes they put on a great show but not Elenin. Right now, that comet looks kind of wimpy. In fairness to NASA, we initially saw Comet Elenin as wimpy as well, but that's not the way it stayed. You know, there's one absolute in the universe, and that is change. Things can and do change, and that's what this comet has been doing. So using the most current available data, we have formulated our program to present what we feel to be the three most possible outcomes. If you want to light a prayer candle over this, option A is the right choice. That this turns out to be an interesting but uneventful flyby. Let's all hope that does become the case. With option B, the flyby of Elenin will be remembered as a fearful event for much the same reason as the 1910 flyby of Halley's Comet, in which case there may or may not be a marked increase in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Of the three options, C is the worst-case scenario, that Elenin is indeed the blue star Kachina of Hopi prophecy, which precedes the larger and far more destructive red star Kachina of the same prophecy. In this program, we'll focus on the worst-case scenario, that Comet Elenin is the blue star Kachina. Now, to do that, we're first going to take a secular look at the Hopi as a people, and then we're going to look at the prophecy from a somewhat scientific view to identify the attributes that are important. But the first big question is, are the Hopi a reliable source of prophecy?